Get ready to revive the outdoors with Cody and Cody. That's how it's supposed to be done. On the water, in the woods. Pursuits made possible by Trigicon. Brilliant aiming solutions. Brunton, equipment for outdoor adventures. Lacrosse, established in 1897, built the last. Ginsu Outdoors, not just sharp, wicked sharp. Gerber, fend for yourself. Get ready to revive the outdoors. So we're going to go up this way. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll just cook out lunch. We're going to head that way. Feels like a better fish there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Well, he's awake this morning, isn't he? Try and get him to you one more time. Oh! -hoo! There's a walleye for you. Yes, sir. That ain't bad for a first fish, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, first fish this morning, anyway. I'm gonna tell you what now. That may be that one I knocked off your hook the other day. He's a bow. 27 inches. 27 inches, really. Oh, oh. Yeah, 25, 25 inches. Wow. Nice fish. Real nice fish. He let me know he was there, too, buddy. He let Cody hold him one time. Yep. Yeah. All right. He's ready for him to jump if he doesn't get in your hand this right. Hold him on the bottom of under his belly like that. Just, hey, it just kind of sits there, doesn't he? Well, that's a pretty fish. He's a lot. He's a little paler than some, as far as colors yeah. uh, than some of the ones we've seen. But I'm gonna tell you what. He had the size to make up for pale color. Now, are the are the males and females? I mean, is that one way to tell the difference between a walleye? Is the coloration on them or? I always feel that the females are more colorful and they start showing their color in late August when they start getting the little eggs in them. Um, I don't know whether that's a fact or not, but I found that just by cleaning a lot of them late in the season that the more yellow ones, the more golden ones are more females. Really? Buffy Lake Lodge, what I just caught right there, that's what they're known for is the walleye and fish. Got him. Got him. He's got one on. Look at him. There you go. You got one, buddy. Uh oh, we got a double go. Yeah, we got one. one. Father, son, both got fish in the boat. Flip it like this. Brent in the front, Hold Sean it. in the middle. Ooh, 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 we got him. Got a father, oh, father we son. Can't right. on the the boat. Boat. Oh, he got right. Oh, he got right. The boat. Didn't have him hooked good enough. Golly. Two on. Cody's still tying. Got one, buddy. Holy, yeah, you did. Nice one. Woo -hoo. Oh, ooh, yeah, that is a nice. the color on that one. Hold down that one. the yellow one in. It's gold. <laughs> <laughs> now we got it. Fish on. He's putting up a little fight, ain't he? Oh, yeah, nice fish. You want to net him? Yeah. Whoa, I don't know whether my line would 
pick him out of the water is not, not that he's not terrible big, it's just that my line's a little old. Pretty light, pretty light on the line. Okay, you got that right down. Oh, okay. You got it. Oh, there we go. That is a pretty fish. A little bit. And the rain. He's close to the 18 inches and we got enough. We're not going to have to oh, fish on. Him. Throw him in. Another fish. Another boat. <laughs> the, the shore lunches here at Bluffy Lake uh, was the first place I ever had a walleye. And it didn't take me long to realize that it was the best eating fish that I'd ever had. Well, you've heard of Ginsu in your kitchen. Now Ginsu is outdoors with their Ginsu Outdoors line of knives. This is my moose knife, or it was intended to, to skin and clean a moose. We're up here in Canada right now. We've stopped up some fish. We're going to have a shore lunch. And I would say it's about as outdoors and like as it gets when it comes to uh, catching fish fresh, cleaning them right here on the bank, and then cooking them over the fire. That's one thing I like about this knife is the fact that, you know, say this is the only knife you carry on a hunt with you. It can, get, it can get the job done, whether it be cleaning fish, gutting and cleaning the moose, cutting rope, cutting anything. And uh, this is the Damascus series blade. I'm gonna tell you what, it's a, the shape of the blade's great, uh, and I, I, I can't wait to really use it on a, on a moose. But as you can tell, we've already got one fillet done. We're gonna kind of finesse, clean the rest of this one off. I'm gonna get every little bit of meat we can. I like that there. We're gonna shoot y'all to some of the, the moose footage from this trip. Y'all go check some of that footage out. Like I said, I learned a lot this trip and uh, did my best to share some information with you, uh, kinda as I learned it. So y'all check this out. We're gonna get on some more fish and we'll catch up with you here in a minute. Hunting Apparel, serious huntwear for real women. From Ginsu Outdoors, wickedly sharp Damascus stainless steel hunting knives with 33 layers of Japanese stainless steel, superior VG1 core, cryogenically cooled for ultimate edge retention. Ginsu is known for their blade expertise and now they're bringing it to the outdoors. And hey, if y'all hunt as much as Cody and I do, you know how important a great knife is and nothing is sharper than a Ginsu Outdoors Damascus steel blade. Hey, it's not only sharp, it's wicked sharp. See the full line at GinsuOutdoors.com. I won't apologize for being a man. Or let you work harder than me. I will protect those in need. And be the guy others depend on. I will fend for myself. Well, welcome to Canada 2008. Very first moose hunt. I'm back at Bluffy Lake Lodge with Mr. Keith Ammerman. We came up here last year. I killed my first bear with him. We're going to try and capitalize on this moose hunt. Get my first moose out of the way as well. We got a couple of friends joining us. We got a pretty cool little area coming up the river here through some rapids. Y'all check this out. Well, folks, it's the first day. We, uh, we've come up the river a ways, and uh, this is one of the spots we'll spend some time at. 
doing some calling. The weather's still a little warm. I'm waiting for it to cool off and these uh, moose to go into the rut. They, uh, they say once your highs stay around 60 and your lows stay around 40 or below, it'll kick them cows into heat and that's when it gets turned on. But we, uh, it's still a little warm. It's, it's rained all night and, and off and on during the day. Well, folks, this is Keith Arming. Um, you may have recognized him from the bear hunt last year. He, uh, if he, if he puts us on a moose like he did a bear, we won't be here long. We, uh, we hadn't sat in the tree 30 minutes that first day and I had a bear down. So we, uh, we've got the call going in the background. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time here talking, but Keith, you know, this is my first moose hunt and uh, I've asked you about 1900 questions on the way up here. That's good. That's good. Just uh, for those folks that don't know a whole lot about moose hunting, tell them a little bit about what we can expect and, and what we're looking for out here. Well, we're, we're hoping that there's a moose back here to begin with and that we can convince him to come out here and come in front of one of you guys and you just get a shot at him. Simple enough, man. Simple enough. That's, that's exactly that. what we're here to do. And I think we've got a pretty good chance. Well, we've had set fresh tracks here, so there's no reason why we can't get them back here. What are these moose, what's drawn them to this area? It's just, it's a low marshy area. There should be feed here for them. Um, it's just, it's an area we've always seen moose. So yeah, as long as they got feed, they'll be here. And they do have feed, so. Excellent. Well, like he said, there was some fresh tracks here today. You can see it rained pretty hard last night and, and today. You can see they're a little bit washed out now, but uh, they've definitely been here. So uh, me and Mr. Brent, who I will introduce here after a while, he's already up in his tree stand. I'm gonna climb up in mine. We're gonna kind of get a, a feel for what we're looking at down here. It's a comfortable boot and uh, light. You know they're gonna keep your feet dry, so we, uh, we're set up, we're ready to go. We've been calling for about five minutes. We'll see if we can get a grunt. Look at that, it's a full rainbow too. It's, it's all the way across. I, ain't never, I don't know if I've ever seen one all the way across. how it works this is location one we sit here and call about 20 minutes and uh, this is how it'll become I mean it's real time hunting right now but the, the conditions aren't right we don't think the bulls are quite rutting yet but when they when we notice them doing their thing this is what we're doing we'll come to one spot calling trying it for a little while and moving on and that's what we're gonna do head on to another spot let's go see if we can find a moose
from Ginsu Outdoors. Wickedly sharp Damascus stainless steel hunting knives with 33 layers of Japanese stainless steel. Superior VG1 core, cryogenically cooled for ultimate edge retention. Ginsu is known for their blade expertise and now they're bringing it to the outdoors. And hey, if y'all hunt as much as Cody and I do, you know how important a great knife is and nothing is sharper than a Ginsu Outdoors Damascus steel blade. Hey, it's not only sharp, it's wicked sharp. See the full line at GinsuOutdoors.com. Well, folks, like I've said, this is this is my first moose hunt, so I'm kind of learning as I go. Uh, but just kind of let y'all in on on how we're hunting here at Bluffy Lake. We'll start out, get in the boat, head up to a place, and we've been going from place to place calling. Uh, we'll start out with a cow call, which you hear in the background right now. That's that's the cow call. I've got a fresh track right here at this spot we started out this morning, and uh, we're just kind of sitting back, waiting. This is, it's not real hard hunting. Uh, I mean, it's it's patient hunting, but as far as uh, you know, effort and uh, physical requirements. Pretty much get out of the boat, walk about 100 yards, and uh, find you a spot that you can set up. Now, this is not the typical spot that I would prefer. My dad likes it behind the camera because he can see a little ways, but a lot of these places are real tight quarters. You can only see 10 or 12 yards in front of you in the woods, but you've got a good tree to hide behind. And that's pretty key if you're gonna have you know, a moose coming right at you. So, uh, I would like to have a tree, but this spot will do. It should. Uh, It'll definitely be interesting if we get stuck in the open with one. I better make a good shot, I'll put it that way. But uh, we've been calling for about 15 minutes here. We normally call for about 20. We'll, uh, we'll be wrapping up here in a few minutes and heading to another spot. That's one nice thing about counting, you ain't gotta worry about coming up on some snakes in this thick stuff. What is this? That old mashed mushroom. This is the first time we've come up on a place that we hadn't sat here yet. This is the uh, second evening hunt. We've, uh, we're not too far back from the lodge. On our way back this evening, stopped this. As you can tell, it comes up on a big hill here. They killed their big bull here last year, 52 inch uh, moose. They started out calling off that point across the river there, but said after about 20 seconds of calling, they heard one call over here and scattered on up here. And evidently, a lady killed it with a bow. So we're going to set up and start doing some calling. Well, folks, I think we're here about to call it a day. It's the first full day of hunting we've had. Uh, it's the second day we've been here. We started out early this morning. Uh, rain was still coming down. Bluebird skies finally showed up right after we got done eating lunch. But the wind's picked up. And if it ain't raining, it ain't wind. Well, those are two, pretty much the two things that keeping these moose tucked in this deep cover like this instead of being out where we can see them. But uh, we had a great day, I'm telling you what, this morning started out, we, we got in some new spots we hadn't got to see. And, uh, it's just, it's a little warm right now for the, uh, they, they're not quite in, in the rut yet. And that's what we're really waiting on is, well, we can turn this call on 
an area within 10 minutes, you know, uh, no face of bull in the area, he'll normally call back to you. But uh, we had a short lunch, went out and caught a bunch of walleye today. And uh, I'm gonna tell you what, Brent and his son had a good time. Old, old Sean, he was, he was putting on the walleye, so uh, that, was, that was a good time. Of course, walleye some of the best eating there is, but we uh, had a short lunch, got back out of this evening. This is about the third or fourth place we've caught at this evening. And uh, the sun's done made its way down. We're gonna get on out of here and call tonight, get some rest, and we'll be back at it again. Hopefully it'll cool down tonight. We'll have some cold weather waiting on us in the morning. Well, folks, we just got back in this evening. Been here for a little bit and got word that Brent had a bull down. We've been having Sean uh, with a little handheld out there doing some shooting, and with all the rain, we just, we didn't even send the camera out with him this evening, so it figures that they, they'd shoot the bull this evening, but they just pulled up, they got the bull. We're fixing to find out what happened and then get this, get this moose up on the, on the bank. Moose Slayer! Dad! <laughs> here you go. We're here, dude. Nice! Well, run me through it. What happened? Well, Mike, we've been doing all day. And the IL, every day we've been here. Uh, pulling out, parking, calling, and we just barely pulled off and started calling, and here he comes. Really? And it didn't take, he stepped out for about 30 yards, and we just nailed him. Really? Beautiful. Didn't, didn't go very far? Shot. No, about maybe. 50 yards. Sweet, dude. It just died. <laughs> it's freaking it nice. cool, man. We got some work to do this evening. Y'all got to head out in the morning. We got to have a moose loaded up by then. It's liable to be a long night, but hey, we're going to stay for a couple more days and stay after them. But I'm going to tell you what, it's been a blast hunting with you, bud. Uh, yeah. And uh, you got you got the pace set now. I got All I got to do is follow along. <laughs> all right, we're about to begin the Ginsu Outdoors Challenge. We got one moose down. We'll get it cleaned, see if we can't get another one down and do two with one knife, no sharpening. Here we go. I'm going to tell you what, if there's one thing that Bluffy Lake Lodge is, is known for, it's the walleye fishing and the chance of catching one in Big Northern Pike as well. So uh, we're going to get back in, warm up a little bit, and uh, we'll catch up with y'all on the water in the morning. Fish on. Hey, for those of you who have followed Cody and I's show, you know that all our hunts are 100% fair chase, so anything that give us the upper edge in the woods, we're all about it. That's right, Cody. And getting to the stand is half the battle, but we know we can go through some of the toughest terrain, silent and scent free with the all new, all electric Stealth 4x4. Check them out at the number at the bottom of the screen or go to their website today. Up there, by the edge. I'm at him. Wait till he turns. solutions. Now with four self-luminous reticles to choose from, you'll be sure to get your trophy. Trigicon. The closed captioning portion of our show is brought to you by Bitter Creek Hunting, providing the ultimate hunting experience through a full line of custom and all-aluminum dog boxes. To view a full line of all-aluminum hunting products by Bitter Creek, check them out at the website at bittercreekhunting.com or give them a call at the number at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish there. Get 
that hook out. Look at her. I think I'm even going to keep my minnow on this one. Easy there, killer. I am chomping down. Pretty fish. Nope, I think that. Well, maybe I'll get another night of him. Look at boy. Oh, nice fish. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice walleye, Keith. What joker's pretty, ain't he? The, the shore lunches here at Bluffy Lake. So Cody and I, we broke into it last year and, and coming up here this year, that was one of, the, one of the biggest things I was looking forward to was coming up here and catching a bunch of these walleye and, and cooking them up. Yeah, we didn't bring uh, the frying pan today because we figured on the sandwiches for lunch. Uh, we didn't have a pot to boil them in either. But what we did have was a set of old mattress springs. And um, I think it's gonna work, dude. Why not it's gonna work? I think it's gonna, I think they're pretty much gonna work. We, we know we're gonna get them cooked, we're just not sure what they're gonna taste like when we do get them cooked. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on the king spot here. There you go, buddy. Better that. Oh, yeah. Oh, flaking like real nice. Real nice light. Pull it off there like so. You got your chunk of meat there. Just look at them flakes. And then, what you do is you take, because we don't have like no salt or nothing like that, you know. We brought sandwich stuff. I've already eat all the bread just about. Get you some mayonnaise on there. That's still one piece of bread. And you get pretty liberal with the mustard. I do anyway. I prefer it like that. And even a little bit on that finger right there like that where you can lick it off. Mm. Now get your fingers around it like so. Down the hatch. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I've had a lot of fun moose hunting, walleye fishing. We've got a big northern pike this year. But uh, we ain't got too much longer. We're going to be catching the plane. Y'all catch us next time. Till then, stay outdoors. We would like to thank you, the sportsmen, for joining us on Revive the Outdoors with Cody and Cody. We would like for you to share your outdoor adventures. Visit us at CodyandCody.tv. Join us again next week right here on Revive the Outdoors with yeah, Cody and Cody. This is definitely a good fish, but it's kind of a, a teaser.